Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what major shifts are happening for you in 2020, what sort of happy things are coming for you, what big things you can look forward to in 2020. So we have group number one, two, three and four. I'm also going to be putting some crystals on these card decks, so let's do that now. So these are the crystals we have for group one, we have Desert Rose, group two we have Carnelian, group three we have aura quartz titanium covered and then we also have another aura quartz titanium covered so i'm also going to be doing some sound healing so if you'd like to stick around for some sound healing you can do that i'm going to do that at the start of the video so if you'd like to stick around for that then you can do that if not the timestamps are down below to choose which group you would like and let's get started so guys if you stuck around for the sound healing or you've chose group number one and you would like to listen to some sound healing then that's what we're going to do today i'm not the most perfect at sound bowls but i just like to use them in a way that feels good for me so let's get started I'm going to use this to clear your energy and to get things moving for the year 2020 and to clear any blockages to help you feel happier and to help things to be more relaxed. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started with the messages. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's happening for you in next year. I was going to say the year 2020. Next year, one of those. So we have Desert Rose. This is a very intense crystal. As you can see, it is quite an intense crystal. This crystal is actually made from literally sand, water and wind. Isn't that absolutely amazing? I just think that's absolutely stunning. This um, is a very powerful crystal. It can help with hormonal changes. It can help with emotional changes. This is very good for feminine energy, especially those who are going through um, menstrual cycles, periods, uh, hormonal changes, especially for teenagers. And it's also very good for the menopause as well. So let's get started with this reading. And let's see what you guys have for the year of 2020 coming for you. Okay, so we have new beginnings, amazing start, love that. We have healing, 66. So those two are going to be the main messages. I'm going to plop those there. And then we also have happy surprise. Making new friends. New opportunity. Stand your ground. Feeling safe environmental awareness we also have be honest with yourself meditate contemplate the abundant universe will provide trust in divine detours we also have clear out the clutter so i also have a few more cards here i'm going to look into those in a minute and i'm also going to pull some tarot for you guys as well to see kind of what's coming for you 
so uh, i might also do some charms as well so let's have a look and see what's coming for you guys with the year 2020 so you guys have got a really good um group this looks really really comfortable i'm getting the words like healthy and comfortable so i do feel like you guys are going to feel a lot more healthier um so for you guys meditation is going to be very very important for the year 2020 i feel like your meditation game is going to be extremely strong um, and by that, I mean that you guys can be really, really meditating and things are going to be much more kind of clearer for you in the year 2020. So you may feel like you're going on a detour. You may feel like things aren't actually going your way. But because you've got a new beginning, you may be a bit unsure that you're actually going in the right direction because everything seems a bit uncertain. But this is actually a really good sign because it means the old is being cleared out and the new is coming in. OK, and you're going to have a lot of healing this year. You're going to be basically... Um, have less drama and actually have the, the the room to heal and to be your own person and to not be kind of um, around people who are really sucking the energy out of you um the abundant universe will provide is basically as it says the, the abundant universe will provide for you um you're going to get a lot of surprises coming forward for you there's going to be somebody who's going to be a really big influence i feel like this year probably possibly a taurus um, I'm feeling a Taurus, um, Earth or Fire sign, so it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay, so they could be a certain person that really kind of helps you to move through this year, they're going to be a very stable person as well, so if you're sort of person that's possibly quite sensitive, um, possibly an empathic person and you need somebody to almost ground you, I do feel like this person is going to be really grounding, also there is going to be somebody who is going to help you just kind of increase your spiritual awareness and you're both going to be on a spiritual journey together and we actually have 10 and then we have one here so it's definitely part of your new beginning um it could also mean that you're becoming more stable and more grounded in yourself okay so this year is looking really really good you're going to be making new friends you've got new opportunities coming for you you've got to stand your ground which is literally what i was saying you're going to feel much more grounded you're going to be much more able to set boundaries and you're going to be clearing out a lot of old wounds that no longer serve you. There's going to be possibly for some of you, as this is a general reading, this is going to resonate for some of you and not for others. Um, for you guys, if you haven't already cleared out a lot of toxicity, this may be the time to do it at the start of the year or throughout the year. You're going to be learning, OK, this is what I want. If you're not sure on what you want yet, the universe will obviously show you that and show you what's good for you and what's not meant for you. OK, and this will be a very natural process. It won't be kind of like pulling it will almost be pulling out weeds, but I don't think it'll be very painful for some of you. It possibly will be a little bit painful in terms of possibly a relationship that you thought was going to last for a long time is going to end like that. And then you're going to be like, OK, I need to let go of it. But it's going to be a really good thing because you guys are going to be emptying out things that no longer serve you. It's going to feel much more clearer. Your head's going to be much clearer and it's going to feel much easier to actually focus and to focus on what you're focusing on at that time. OK, you're going to be able to focus more upon yourself. So you're going to feel much more safe in your environment. Possibly you're a sort of person that possibly has quite high anxiety or your, your head. I'm getting your head is quite full up. It could be your crown chakra or just literally uh, your head is just very, very full up. Could be your third eye as well. Your intuition could be becoming much more um higher and could be becoming much more um aware of uh ethereal energies I'm, I'm hearing like fairies unicorns angels um i'm hearing even like dragons so maybe if you're the sort of person that picks up on like ethereal um angelic um angels that sort of thing i do feel like you're going to be picking more up on that and possibly at night time as well you're going to be picking up more on that also so you also have that something is something very good is about to happen so you're actually going to get a massive surprise so whatever i'm not picking up here is possibly what's going to happen as well you're going to get a massive surprise that surprise may actually become um come into fruition through meditation so you may actually get a glimpse of what this surprise is through meditation um i feel like you could also have i'm getting a drumming session for you guys so if you guys ever want to go on a drumming journey or get some sound healing i definitely feel like this group is definitely a really good group to go for if you know someone who has like possibly an as as i'm getting like an aztec drum or like a um like a tribal drum that could be a really really good way for you to kind of get into sound healing some of you could actually be starting healing or sound healing crystal healing that sort of thing even possibly starting to do reiki i'm feeling for this group you could also be connecting with children as well so you could want a child this year um or you could be um working with children in like teaching or like um what's the word teaching or like in a nursery that sort of thing or like a, like a care group like a baby group Okay, so let's see what other cards you have. We also have 
chai stolite past loved ones root chakra so you're really going to be feeling your loved ones coming in this year and there possibly could be um a dis i'm hearing like a disconnect with a um i'm hearing actually with a partner so if you guys have actually a partner that has passed this person is going to come through really really closely within you within this year and also if you have had a family member that has passed this is in the past tense guys i'm not predicting this as a future prediction um if you guys are uh, have like a past uh loved one that's passed i definitely feel like that's going to come through for some of you guys i'm actually feeling like um if there has been a a great great grandfather who's passed in the war that was married to your great great grandmother that person's going to be coming through really closely for you i'm not sure why but for some reason there's something that they may need to say to you that's really really going to help you and they possibly somebody who's going to help you for a really hard time or has helped you through hard times it's going to be very very present because they're really excited for you for having this new energy coming through okay and my legs are tingling so that is really really good so we also have imagination and we also have illuminate so i don't think you can see that so i'm just going to put those nearer to the camera so for you guys i definitely feel like whatever hasn't been illuminated in 2019 that's also going to be illuminated this year uh this always reminds me of a kiwi so if you guys are love like kiwi like the kiwi fruit or possibly going to be some sort of symbol of like the kiwi fruit then that could be a symbol for you i'm also getting these to a very like circular so circles could be very prominent for you and it's also the end of a cycle and the start of a new one so i really really love that um there's going to be some new things that you've actually wanted to happen for a long time that are actually going to start happening this year because they're starting to be illuminated and they're going to start to become more within your periphery you'll actually be able to see these things and you're not just almost like imagining them air quotes imagining them because you never obviously imagine things because obviously if you want something that bad enough it will come to you eventually okay guys for some of you guys i'm getting like horse riding or horses for this group i don't know why but i'm getting that quite strongly and i'm also seeing like a crystal ball so if any of that resonates with you guys please let me know um just so i know that i'm picking up or at least one of you guys i'm also getting a lizard or like um like a snake so i'm getting like reptiles so i'm not sure if any of you guys are going to buy like a snake or a lizard a uh, gecko a uh, dragon that sort of thing like a bearded dragon i am seeing that quite strongly so uh that's for group number one so let's have a look in the tarot and see what is happening for you guys for the year of 2020 and let's see kind of what things are going to happen for you guys so we have the five of wands we have the six of cups the hermit whoa okay <laughs> we have the emperor the queen of wands and let's shuffle for one more card Okay, we have the knight of swords so there is definitely somebody coming in who's coming in fast okay they could be a past life person somebody who you've known in the past life that could be a possible partner coming in it could be a friendship that has possibly been lost in the past and it's coming back um we also have the seven of pentacles so the universe is seeing that you've worked really hard and they're determined to push you into something really amazing and i really really love that We've also got the five of wands with the six of swords, sorry, six of cups. So it could be somebody who you possibly had an argument with who's going to come back and it's going to be like a new rejoice of like a new relationship coming in. It could actually be an old partner who you possibly fancied, but you didn't actually get with them and finally you get with them. Um, I do see you guys connecting with um, fire. Obviously we have earth here and then we have air. So I do sense that's very, very much um concentrated here in this reading um with the hermit card i do see you guys kind of going into hermit mode for possibly parts of the year but i feel like it's maybe because you're not used to all this excitement that it may actually be quite a lot for you so it may just be also to look after your health um i don't see anything major happening with health but i do see you may get run down quite easily especially if you're sensitive so just be careful with that but i do see you setting boundaries very strongly with um the opposite sex and also with partners obviously not every partner is the opposite sex but that's what i'm saying the opposite sex and partners because i see that um you may have some sort of issue with the opposite sex in terms of possibly having been messed around by them and also being messed around by old partners as well and not having much of a kind of 
what's the word not having much confidence in the fact they'll work out so for a lot of you guys if you're single you may be kind of feeling okay and nothing's gonna happen in my love life this is actually a sign that you are gonna become more assertive and therefore people are gonna not be messing you around as much and therefore you're going to be attracting people who are really going to want to be around you i'm definitely getting aries for this group as well so let's pull some charms for this group as well and let's see what's coming in for you guys okay so we got a lot here right we have i always get these little bits from my old little broomstick things i have okay so the s is really being stuck in here so if you guys are connected with somebody within that letter s for this year obviously this may not resonate yet because it hasn't happened but definitely getting a fire sign this symbol of a fox sausage dog or just dogs could be somebody who coming in who you're very close to in terms of a partnership so we have s o we have g we have p y I'm getting the name Sophie for this group. Two Ps. I'm getting two Ps in a pod, which is cute. So you guys could be attracted to a partner that is very much like you. And we also have the letter V. So we also have a unicorn. Oh, sorry, Pegasus. Cat. We have th uh, five roses. I feel like you're going to meet, have a, if you are a female, I do see you having another female friend who you're really, really connected to in terms of like friendship um and we have the cat we have a little wing here we have a parasite we have santa claus so something could actually happen within 20 <clears throat> excuse me 2019 in december something can major could happen <clears throat> really really nicely or you could be traveling around christmas time this year and next year at the end of 2020 as well um i think with put it reminds me of um monsters inc i don't know if any of you guys have seen that but there's a scene where he's like put that thing back where it came from also help me and that's really reminded me of that so it just kind of reminds me of that so if you guys are going to be watching monsters inc next year then i do see that happening i feel like for some of you guys you could actually go be going to disneyland um as well so there's going to be a significant male in your life if you are um looking for a male partner i definitely see that for some of you guys obviously if you're not looking for a male partner um doesn't mean it's not going to resonate but i do see for you guys there is going to be a male partner who's going to be really really significant or a masculine partner if you're looking for a masculine partner that is what they're that's basically what they're showing me is that's going to come through okay uh, the angels are definitely with you for some of you guys you could be getting a new cat there could be a cat as your omen this year as well um, and that's what I'm seeing. So thank you so much for watching this uh, video. I really, really appreciate it. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, I would love that. Um, the subscribe button is down below. I'm also doing um, my readings down below. So all the options will be down below as to what I offer. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. We have this gorgeous carnelian. This is really, really good for connecting with your sacral chakra. And I mean, look how stunning that is. It looks like a little planet. I love it. It's so, so pretty. So that is what we're going to be dealing with today. And let's see what's happening for you guys within the year of 2020. I also am going to pull some tarot and do some charms for you guys as well. So this is going to be a nice long reading. So sit back, relax, have some tea, eat some food, get some snacks. I don't know. <laughs> do what you need to do. So we have you'll know in the morning when you wake up you'll have a better idea about what to do relax until then we have one step at a time lots of little steps make big dreams come true we also have parenting and children higher consciousness laughter we then have in oh that's flying out integrity and we also have Flow. Oh, I love that. Those two colours are really like connected with me. I love that. They're very much connected, those two. We then have spirituality and abundance. We also have work through your fears. Spirit has your back. And spirit guides. Okay, so let me see what's going on for this group. Okay, I will pull these cards up a little bit further once I have finished with this row. So for you guys, you're very much, I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to be parents, okay? This could also mean that you're going to be healing a parent wound that has happened. 
Um, I do sense for you guys, you're really going to be connecting with your spirituality this year. You're going to be very much so just completely and utterly releasing yourself into spirituality, which is really, really nice. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been held back by just kind of the 3D human kind of consciousness. And obviously there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like for you guys, you're actually letting this flow. You're letting the, the um, abundance flow to you. And therefore, your spirituality is going to come through really, really nicely. And your natural self is going to come through, just it's going to shine through. So you're going to get a lot of abundance. You could get abundance in terms of a child coming in. It could be a grandchild for some of you, uh, for some of you of the older viewers. And I am seeing for you guys, it's going to be a really, really happy year. For some of you guys, there is going to be a lot of flow. So what's really important for you is just take one step at a time and to make sure you're not rushing because you may just get super, super excited that things are coming in and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. But you got to like chill. Just take a deep breath, chill. So this, this group, because you work through your fears, you're going to have a lot of kind of new self-awareness. So just be aware that you may feel completely different by the time January comes around next month. You're going to probably be like, holy shit, I don't even recognise myself, you know. Um, but I do feel like for you guys, it's going to be really, really important for you to keep concentrating on working through your fears. Because part of you may be a little bit nervous about doing that, but it's just letting things flow. It, they may not even be really intense fears. It may just be that you're focusing on one thing and it's actually like, it may take a little bit of time to just flow away from that that doesn't, doesn't need your attention anymore. As it could be like um, mental health, some sort of mental health issue. It could be... Um, some sort of mental uh, instability where you just feel a little bit unstable. I do sense that you're going to be work working away from that. You're going to be moving away from that. And you're going to become much more confident, much more grounded, much more stronger to actually set your boundaries and say, no, nope, not having any of that. And you're going to be um, really breathing in some really lovely energy. We're going to be bringing in some lovely, gorgeous relationships. And you're going to feel really, really happy about it, okay? So let's have a look and see what the cards say. I actually want to read from this card as well. Sometimes I really feel the need to do that. So we're going to do that for this group also. <clears throat> so let's pull some tarot first. We have the Seven of Cups. That's a really good start. So you may have a lot of options. and You're kind of confused of which one to go for. But the fact you have options is really, really good. Because at least you've got something to focus on. And you can figure out which one you would like to choose. I'm hearing two men. So if you are attracted to men, I do see that you're going to have a lot of suitors. It may just it may be obviously female as well, but I was seeing particularly men. You're going to have um a pick of a lot of males <laughs> or masculine energies. Okay. Right, we also have the 9 of cups, so feeling very satisfied with where you're at, feeling very comfortable with, within your own skin. And we also have the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So you're going to feel very, very comfortable with where you're at as well. You're going to feel like you're on top of the world and things are moving at a really good pace, okay? So I'm going to pull for the number 23. So this is Spirit Has Your Back. Think of the eagles flying high above the other birds, soaring on the wind. Eagle Spirit has appeared to ask whether you're willing to soar to new heights, even if that means solitude for a short while. Truly, all the wisdom of the world is available to you. When storms flash across the sky, it is eagle spirit that raises you above it all, helping you conquer fear and overcome adversity, reminding you the spirit has your back and wants you to experience life at its fullest. At this moment, you are meant to know that you have the highest of wisdom and courage within, gifted to you by spirits and all the angels. Boldly build your nest in a lofty space in a lofty space and know that now you can fly effortlessly proudly embodying eagle spirit in all her glory and grace claiming what is truly yours in divine timing if you're walking awkwardly and feeling embarrassed eagle spirit is here to tell you that you sorry <laughs> i'm gonna say it again um eagle spirit is here to tell you that is only because right now you are meant to fly soar above Soar over the troubles that have you feeling scared and alone. See the big picture, yet retain your eager eye for the details that help you claim your wisdom and courage. Or perhaps you are making yourself small for the sake of getting others to accept you. Now is not the time to be vulnerable and dependent, for you have the wings to fly on your own, and you need to do, and you need to do that at this time. 
There is no need to huddle in a shelter or even to seek out a flock to support you, for Eagle Spirit says you have tremendous wisdom and courage within. Let it arise so that you might soar proudly with the angels serving as the wind beneath your wings. From these heights, you can make the best and most powerful choices for the highest good of all. I love that. That's so cute. So it's basically you guys kind of being independent and making sure that you're supporting yourself fully. And you are basically making sure you're making the decisions for yourself and not just for other people. Also, there's going to be an offer coming in and you're possibly going to think about it. But I do see this as being a very good offer. You may ignore it because you think that it's not going to be um, a very good offer. Or it may seem like it has been before where you've possibly been messed around. But actually, you're going to be really fulfilled when this offer comes in. You're going to have a really independent mindset. And there's going to be a lot of options with what you've got to take with you through to 2020. You're going to have a lot of options. So... Let's see what's happening for you guys in the year of 2020. I feel like I'm going to say the month of 2020 and I'm going to try and avoid say, saying that. Okay, right. You guys got a lot of charms. So let's see what we've got here. Right, we have Y, W, M, U, U. So there's a lot of focus on you. <laughs> I love that. There's a lot of focus on you. We have Z. Three for M, C, and D. So we have two M's, two U's. Uh, I think that's it for the duplicate. So we have a dream catcher. You are perfect. So it's basically an emphasis on yourself and knowing that you are perfect and everything is okay. You are amazing as you are. Things are unraveling for you um, and you're becoming more independent. There's going to be a big death process for you that's going to cause you to transform and be the gorgeous person that you are. The angels are with you. You're possibly going to be doing some traveling. For this, I always see Thailand. So you possibly could be going to Thailand or be from Thailand. We have the cat. We have a musical note and we have two roses. So I feel you blossoming and you're going to have a lot of support in the process could be going to Disneyland with a little Mickey Mouse and you're basically going to be unlocking your childhood self which means you're going to be much more freer and we have this little bead what does this show me there's going to be like a pearl you're going to have like you're going to have an opening where you're going to see yourself um blossoming and you're going to feel much more freer this year you're going to feel like you can actually do things for yourself and you're not oh my god my voice <laughs> and you're not going to feel as stuck so music is also going to be very important. You could be meeting somebody who loves music as well and you two could have that bond. I do feel like if you are looking for a partner for you guys, you could be a meeting a musician or a friend who's very much connected to music. And I do, I am seeing the world for you guys. So for you guys, you could be traveling or you could be thinking about travel um, and basically exploring much more than what you have done. Or you could just want to travel, okay? So as a general reading, it's not going to resonate for everyone. Um, but take it as it resonates, okay? I definitely see you guys opening as well because it's like this mouth is kind of opening. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of opening. So I really hope this resonates with you guys. If it doesn't, then that's fine. Just let it fly. Uh, or you can choose another group. If you would like to get a private reading, all my information is down below. And if you'd like to subscribe, comment down below and thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. We have this gorgeous crystal, which is a Oracle titanium covered geode. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's just so glittery and pretty. I'm going to see if I can just show you a close up. I mean, look how stunning that is. Okay, so that is my happy crystal. So I do feel like you guys are going to be very, very happy in the year of 2020. So let's see what your prediction is for this year. So we have... Brothers and sisters, to get along with others, see the love and the best within them. We also have best friends. True friends stick together no matter what. I love that. So pretty. We also have dreams coming true. Quiet time. Rise above problems. And we also have letting go. I love that combination of those two cards. We then have... A time to give rather than take. Be generous of spirit. Pronite, release, declutter, heart chakra. Harmony. Ancestral support. We also have physical activity and parenting. So it's definitely an element of family and kind of um, you connecting with people who are of your age or just people who you 
are very much in the same circle with they're going to have the same vibe as you so i do feel like for this group in 2020 you're going to be really kind of comfortable with where you're at and you're going to meet people who are really on your wavelength because you've got brothers and sisters and best friends you could actually be becoming best friends with your brother or sister it could also mean that the opposite way that your best friends become obviously like a brother or sister to you and it basically means that your circle of friends is going to be much much larger than possibly what it is now um, and you're possibly decluttering old people, um, old wounds and old relationships and bringing in new ones, okay? So your physical activity could be very much concentrated this year. Um, it could mean that you're very much concentrating on your health, your body, your fitness. Um, it could also mean that you are generally just aware more of your body and you're kind of like, okay, this is what my body wants and this is what I'm going to do to kind of uh, make sure that I'm feeling healthy and strong within myself. We also have parenting, so you could be parenting yourself and becoming more comfortable with parenting yourself and being like, okay, this is what I need. And because your heart is healing, I do feel like you're almost becoming more of the parent towards yourself. This could also mean that um, you are having a, 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 um, sorry, I can't speak, <laughs> a more closer time with your parents. So you could be having a closer bond with your parents or you could be spending more time with them um so you're going to have much more harmony i definitely feel like your relationships are going to have much more harmony ha harmony harmony whether that is a relationship or friendship or both i do feel like relationships are really kind of the strong point of this group and i really feel like for as i say romantic relationships work family friendships i definitely feel like more for the closer relationships so like family friend and love relationships i definitely feel like that's very very concentrated because you guys have had a lot of support and you may not have felt like it but you've had a lot of support to do with healing your heart and the universe is really showing you that here where it's like now you've healed your heart you're going to be bringing in a lot more people who suit you much much better um and it also could mean that you are actually also healing your heart and you're becoming you're actually healing your heart with through in 2020 and you're also something is cracking open you're almost like an egg you're being like reborn and we have got the green color quite a few times with a time to give rather than take and be generous of spirit those three are all green and this one as well so it's definitely an element of heart and we've got the they've got four cards all together like that and i never mean to put cards in a certain way i just do it as my intuition shows me so it's like you're going to feel stable with four four is like the number of stability okay and we have 737 which seven and three is ten which is completion so i really really love that so for you guys you are going to have your dreams coming true i do feel like for some of you if you are having um more a concentrated energy within your physical activity say you want to be like a sports masseuse you want to be i don't know an olympian or you want to kind of do something to do with physical activity whether that's even like healing um, massage I don't know anything to do with physical activity to do with like your goals i do say you are going to get that as well especially if you're looking to do that for a career obviously if you're not that's totally fine i do still feel like you're going to reach that goal so in terms of taking quiet time i feel like for some of you it could have been very busy this year and you could have you could just need a break i definitely see you doing that and you're rising above problems that you're you're now letting go of problems that haven't resolved and they're resolving now within the end of this year and in 2020 they're going to be resolved and you're going to rise above these problems that have really been holding you down and been cr almost like crushing your soul sometimes i feel like for some of you guys it could even be soul crushing i don't know what it is i'm getting <coughs> around my chest area it feels really really painful so and when i get that it's normally to do with um speaking out about how you really feel and being honest with your truth this is really intense guys i really feel like this is you're, you're releasing this now i definitely like speaking your truth because my throat is really hurting okay so we're going to look into the tarot and then we're going to pull some charms for you so what does group number three need to know about the year of 2020 please for some of you guys i'm getting the month of october so if you're born in october um something's happening in october this year coming um if something happened this year in october that's going to be resolved and there's going to be possibly something amazing happening in October as well. So if you guys are really standing your ground, things are actually becoming more fairer. I feel like, I don't know if that's a word, but things are becoming more fair and this is going to be released now. You're not going to feel like you're out in the cold anymore. I love the difference between the six and the five. 
it's like look at the difference between them it's like complete like sadness and confusion and it's like no nope, i got this i'm gonna be really really um balanced and i'm gonna be feeling much more healthier yep so you guys are gonna be starting a new start absolutely amazing you've got you're on a new train now it's like choo choo i'm hearing it's like woo off we go out the station away from confusion you are letting it all go guys and you're feeling much more confident um, you can literally manifest anything this year. I feel like you could easily manifest things pretty quickly this year because you have released a lot of the old wounds. And because you're standing your ground, the universe is seeing that you can handle this. And therefore, new things are going to be coming in that are going to suit your energy. Especially to do with money and abundance, that's really going to be coming in. And you're going to have a lot of quiet time to reflect, to kind of see, okay, what do I want to manifest? And you're going to have time to think about it, but you're also going to be having a lot of intense changes. But I do see the tower as something really, really, really good, okay? So let's have a look at your charms and see. I'm going to shake this up a bit. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to try and pull the charms more from the bottom because I always pick up letters and I want to pick more charms. I don't want to do that again, actually. There we go. There we go, that's better. I like a lot of charms here. So, right guys, for group number three, let's see what your charms are. So we have the letters S, A, N, R, J, L, R, and G. so when i get two letters that are the same that's normally an emphasis that r is really going to be prominent whatever that means to you i'm feeling it's i'm hearing the word rocky so i think things are going to not be rocky anymore and they're going to be coming into uh, fruition we have the day of thursday and sunday they're going to be very prominent days for you we also have quite a few water signs here so if you are a water sign or you're going to be connecting with a water sign. I definitely, definitely, definitely see that. You're also going to be finding your water sign counterpart. So if you are a water sign and you connect very much with water signs, you're definitely going to find a water sign. Because we've got like four water signs here. Um, you're also, Christmas is going to be really, really good for you this year and next year. Obviously, this month, December 2019 and 2020. You're going through a death process and the angels are with you. You also could be travelling. Got France here, so I really do feel that's going to be very prominent for some of you guys. Um, you could also be living in France. We could be French. Um, we have two blue, so you could be connecting with somebody who's very much like you. And if you're a male, you're going to be having a male friendship with another male. Um, I do see for some of you that if you are a male and you're looking for a, a, um, a female, there could be actually a friend who, say you're a male and you have a male friend, but they have like, you both like the same girl. I do see that could be a thing. It could be like a little bit of jealousy, but I don't see it being anything too major. I also see it being almost like funny, you know, but I do see that being resolved, okay? And um, we have music, so music can be very important for you. I do see you guys finding your counterpart in terms of relationships. So if you are looking for a partner, that's definitely coming in. Um, it's going to be aligned, basically. You guys are going to be finding your partner within divine timing, and it's going to be very peaceful this this year is going to feel very much um, flowy, <clears throat> excuse me, and you're going to be transforming, okay, we've got two butterflies here, so you and somebody else could be transforming, or you're just going to be transforming a lot, and you're going to feel feeling much more grounded, and you're going to be finding your tribe of people that really help you to grow, and help you to build yourself up, instead of tearing you down, and making you feel like not very good, okay? so thank you so much for i meant to put that away but i'll leave it there thank you so much for watching if it doesn't resonate let it fly or choose another group i'm also getting neck pain so if you guys are having neck pain that hopefully will subside because i'm feeling this quite strongly um we've also got this key so i do see for you guys you're going to be blossoming and you're going to be kind of coming out of in your cocoon you're going to be exploring we've got 18 18 on the clock which is nine at nine so completion we also have 33 here, 33, 6 and 9 here. So those are going to be your numbers. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. All the information is down below if you'd like a private reading. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. So as usual, you guys have the biggest group. So uh, let's see what's happening for you guys in 2020. This is my happiness crystal. I freaking love this crystal. So you guys are going to have a really happy year in 2020 if you chose this group. I really love this. It's so stunning. So 
let's have a look and see what's happening for you guys i might cut these two decks uh separately and just kind of do a spread and then do another spread uh just so we can fit it all in so oh gorgeous let go of stress don't take on other people's stresses breathe it out now i love that that is amazing right we also have detoxification look inside yourself vacation creative expression and then we also have also higher open to infinite possibilities and we also have the energy is gaining momentum adjustments are required your commitment is being tested a personal issue reaches resolution i love this because it's like both of them are being are completing i love that okay we also have amethyst Intuition, third eye chakra, zebra stone, compassion, root chakra, unakite, live in the present heart chakra. So I'm going to leave these cards and we're going to look at these in just a second. And then we're going to have a look at the tarot and then we're going to do some charms. So for the year of 2020, I'm definitely seeing for you guys that there's something that you've wanted, but basically you're possibly going to need to try to do something different in order to get that. And I'm do, I do feel like for some of you guys that that's true but for a lot of you guys it's actually meaning that you're coming together with something where you're going to feel complete you're going to feel like okay i've actually I've, and you're also going to find somebody who matches you as well so both you feel complete when you meet each other obviously i'm not saying you aren't complete because obviously you need to be complete before you meet these people but i do definitely feel like there's some sort of like completion okay also there may be something that you need to adjust in terms of um your commitment so you there may be somebody who comes across in your path and you're thinking, I don't really want to be with them or I don't really want to be friends with them because they're like this or this or this. And they don't they don't really kind of match up to what your expectations are. But I do definitely feel like that that is actually a, um, a kind of a lesson in itself to be accepting of anyone who kind of, kind of comes across your path, especially if you are a, um, if you are a, what is that word? I've forgotten what the word is. A fixed sign i know i'm a scorpio i'm a fixed sign so if you're a fixed sign that you can you guys can be a little bit kind of stubborn but i do feel like this person's going to warm up to you and you're going to feel very very comfortable within their presence whether that's a partner whether that's a friendship okay we also have the energy is gaining momentum so once you find this extra thing that you've been wanting for a long time whatever that is money partnership work whatever you're going to be really really excited and things are going to start to pick up so we also got open to infinite possibilities. So you guys are going to be open to things changing and things are going to change. Things are going to happen for you where things are going to be picking up. The, speed's, the, the speed is going to be picked up and you're going to be letting go of stress. Okay, as, de as I said, detoxification, same thing as letting go of stress. Your stress is just going to fly away almost when you find this thing that you just feel, you're going to feel much more complete because things that haven't happened for a long time are going to start happening um for you guys it's going to be a very internal time for some of you some of you not i'd say it's a general reading so just take it as it resonates um you guys are going to be very much looking inside yourself for the answers and it could mean that you could want to go to a certain place to actually find yourself you may find yourself at a certain place and you're going to be very creative this year it's very important for you to express your creative ex creative expression um, and this is going to help you to um release a lot of past hurt and to um have a personal issue is going to reach a resolution so you're going to feel much more happy within yourself and with this personal issue reaches resolution it's also showing me that literally a personal issue is going to reach resolution and you're going to feel much more happy within it so this this uh year is you're gonna have a lot of compassion for yourself and you're going to be living in the present i feel like for some of you guys you're just going to be very very comfortable with where you're at your intuition is going to be popping and it's going to be really really high so what else do we have we have a relationship change time out love so i do definitely feel like you guys are going to be in new relationships this year you're going to possibly find your relationship your divine counterpart and i don't normally say divine counterparts so that's definitely not me saying that that is my uh intuition and i do definitely feel like this love is going to help you to take a time out because you're going to be possibly the 2019s be very internal very kind of I'm also hearing destructive, so I do feel like a lot of things have been falling apart. This time, everything's going to come together and you're going to feel much more happier because you found that divine counterpart. Or you're going to feel a lot more love this year than possibly what you have been in possibly the last few years. Or possibly just in 
like the last year it possibly hasn't really been about love now it really is and you're going to forgive yourself for the past guys and you're going to feel everything's going to feel much more simpler this year it's going to feel like things are feeling much more comfortable and it's going to feel like it really really suits you you're also going to possibly be finding love in a relationship a new relationship if you're single um also you're possibly going to be finding some friendships that really really suit you in terms of your love life okay so also you could be changing from single to a relationship you could also be breaking up with somebody and going into a new relationship or breaking up and just feeling and having some time out from a relationship obviously it it is different for everyone else who it's different for everyone who's watching this reading sorry guys i can't get my words out today so let's have a look at the tarot and see what tarot is saying gorgeous we have a death process you are definitely changing a relationship here you guys are coming into a relationship for some of you for some of you who are already in a relationship you're going to be possibly taking some time out and just having some time by yourself or you guys could just be doing something very simple and just being like this year's been very stressful i just want a very simple year let's just kind of do things that make us feel relaxed instead of stressing ourselves out so okay you guys are moving away from this energy where you're moving away from looking at the past things are going to be changing in divine timing and you're going to have surprises that are going to be like holy shit i was not expecting that to happen you know some of you guys are really hearing aquarius and pisces for this group so if you are those signs that is extra clarification also seeing gemini and cancerian um also i do feel like you guys could be connecting with those signs also this group is definitely about love and relationships because you guys are going to be coming together with somebody who makes you really happy i haven't had these cards for any of these groups so i definitely feel like this group is more about love and relationships and coming together with somebody who mirrors you and you're basically going to be starting a new cycle so you're going from the death all the way to the world card i love that that is just absolutely beautiful you're going to be shedding a lot of old layers and you're going to be shedding things that no longer serve you we also have the temperance here so you're basically going to be becoming much more balanced within yourself and you're becoming much more happier and you're going to be the emotions that you've invested in yourself or the emotions that you are going to invest in yourself is all going to pay off and you're going to be very very happy with where you're at and you're no longer going to be struggling to um understand what's going on you're going to be much more happy out with where you're at because it's almost like going from like the two of swords to the two of cups it's like yeah i n now understand that this energy was meant for me and now i can really focus on myself and funnily enough that we have this moon now this is literally the moon that's in the sky right now actually it's more like this moon i think yeah it's more like this moon but it's so pretty i love that so because the moon has just come out it's suddenly got really really dark so let's see what your uh, charms you need let's say crystal but it came out let's say charms but it came out crystal so we have the letter n said o y l i r h v I'm just seeing if there's any names or anything like that because I'm definitely feeling that um, the universe wanted me to put kind of names together. So I'm hearing like Zoya, um, Zoe, um, Roy. I'm also getting names beginning with V. Um, I don't think there's anything else I'm really feeling. I'm hearing R I L. I'm not sure why but that's what i'm seeing this could also be initials v and h so we have the key you have the key to your life that's basically what they're saying we have the angels around you we've got a death process here we've got some growth we've got two angels which is gorgeous we've got a lovely death process you're going through you could be a scorpio or connecting with a scorpio things are happening for you significantly on a thursday we have a lot of money because we have two coins here that's amazing we also have um a paris thing this has come up a lot for you guys so in the groups today so i definitely feel that like you guys are going to be traveling a lot we have things unraveling and we have two unlikely partner um two unlikely people coming together whether that's a partnership or um a friendship you're what you're going to be very wise this year and you're going to grow as somebody who's going to be very wise you from your experiences you're going to become very wise and you're going to transform from them you could also be connected with a water sign or you could be a water sign we also have a lot of transformation sorry i can't see what's going on <laughs> i'm like guessing where everything is we've got a lot of transformation you're possibly going to be getting a lot of fame 
if you're if that's sort of per thing if that's sort of thing that you want if that if you're that sort of person who wants uh quite a lot of fame or a lot of recognition you're definitely going to get that um even if you don't really want it you're probably going to get it anyway <laughs> and we have just for you in this little in this little star i don't know if you can see that but it says just for you you probably can't see that okay i'm going to give up on that <laughs> um and music can be very important for you so if you are hearing synchronicities in music this is definitely a sign that you're going to get that okay so thank you so much for watching guys um i also see you guys connecting with somebody over a certain song or a certain musician or band so just keep that in mind um just want to let you guys know that you are being watched over and you are on the right path for some of you guys who needed to hear that and i'm also seeing a peach i don't know why i'm seeing that could be you guys are painting your walls peach or you like to eat peaches i don't know <laughs> but i am seeing that the fruit for some reason it's also quite a it's telling me a juicy fruit so you could be getting a lot out of this year in terms of just your it's gonna be a very sweet year okay very very good for you guys i'm also seeing the world when we have the world here so i do see like you're going to be traveling you're going to be like shifting your energy more expansively so you're going to be possibly traveling and doing more things than what you did this year and obviously if you have done a lot this year then you're going to be doing the complete opposite and just resting and kind of you know whatever you want that's what you're getting <laughs> basically uh, whatever you're looking for that's what you're going to go towards so thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give a big old thumbs up comment down below if you would like to please subscribe and i do private readings all my information is down below i'm doing a 10 percent off for yearly reading so if you'd like to get a yearly forecast personally then that information is down below if you'd like to get one you can uh, message me through instagram or you can email me at victoria here to inspire at gmail.com if it didn't resonate then just let it fly or choose another group and i'll speak to you very soon bye